what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel today guys we are back with another hot toys figure preview video and today we're gonna do once again another figure from the ahsoka series guys we finally get the much anticipated balen skull from the series played by the actor ray stevenson who unfortunately did pass away already last year and so really quick just want to say may he rest in peace very unfortunate right that he has passed away already um I love them in this series, one of the most underrated villains of the whole Star Wars saga. I really love them in the series and obviously a lot of us have been awaiting a Balin Skull figure from Hot Toys and well, they finally delivered and they delivered with absolute class. They delivered excellently, excellently. Um, looking at these first images for Valen, um, I am impressed already with the likeness to him, the face sculpt, everything. So, uh, let's go ahead and give a quick preview to him, uh, really quick. Uh, obviously this wasn't the only figure that was released. Um, also Shin, ha Shin Hari Hati, if that's how you pronounce it. She was also, uh, announced. Both of them were announced together i'm gonna do a preview video for each figure separately so first we're, we're gonna do valen's call today tomorrow i'll go ahead and uh release the preview video for sheen uh so excited that they have released uh these two figures who are very important to the series and this is one of the most shocking things that i've seen from hot toys now with the sheen and valen the that's a total of 10 figures released for the ahsoka series if i'm not mistaken absolutely stunned that they have released so many figures for this specific series but as i mentioned on previous videos i will not complain one bit about it i am so thrilled to know that they have finally done you know a justice to this series and the fact that they're releasing so many characters uh for this specific series um i believe the only one that would probably be, be missing is probably like a rooted hair Anakin from this from the clone with the Clone Wars uh, suit wardrobe. So that would probably be one that I would love to have, but I don't think it's required in my honest opinion. Um, but again, let's go ahead and focus on Balin. Again, he was released, so very excited to go ahead and get this guy so taking a look at the images uh first and foremost the face sculpt is absolutely perfect no issues at all with the face sculpt it looks amazing love the facial expression he has this serious serious mean look to him and uh again the skin texture looks fantastic on it we'll get a closer look to his face sculpt a little bit later on and one thing that i've always noticed about hot toys and i'm not sure if this is like a lucas lucas film kind of requirement but hot toys always does the best job with star wars head sculpt um, you know, when, when, when I look at this one, I look at it's Ahsoka, both young Ahsoka and older Ahsoka, uh, the rooted hair Anakin from Revenge of the Sith that's coming up later on this year. Um, all these help head sculpts are absolutely perfect when it comes to Star Wars. So I'm not sure if they're just that good hot toys at doing these specific head sculpts or maybe, um, you know, Lucasfilm Lucas Films puts a little bit of pressure on them to make sure that the figure is as great as it possibly can be. But again, they deliver once again here with Balin. Phenomenal head sculpt. It looks fantastic. The way the figure is built is absolutely amazing. Uh, here you guys can see all of the things that he comes with, which of course I will cover throughout the video. Um, but again, take a look at him. He looks fantastic. Um, I love the way that the suit, the suit looks or the wardrobe. Obviously he has his red lightsaber and only we can hope that the light lightsaber is as bright as this um i still don't owe own i'm sorry a lot of star wars figures but the ones that i do have uh the lightsabers don't really light up a lot so that's something that i hope that hot toys is working on with these new figures for the ahsoka series that this specific that the lightsabers turn on as much as possible so that the figure gets displayed better um he does also come with his uh robe right um that pretty much goes on top of his head right um again cannot wait to go ahead and get this guy it looks fantastic on him i love the hand poser right here to pretty much show him um using the force um taking a look more at the images again he just looks amazing again i cannot wait to go ahead and get this guy very very excited now unfortunately as always we get a pretty normal base a pretty rectangular base with his uh, nameplate here and again the same style as always and i believe lucas films kind of has that requirement with hot 
toys to make sure that the Star Wars figures have the same nameplate. Uh, so pretty much, I guess we really can't talk about the base. I would assume it's going to come with a crotch grabber, which is pretty normal. But again, we're here to talk about the figure itself. Again, as I mentioned before, the suit or the wardrobe looks absolutely amazing. Again, his cape, robe, whatever you guys want to go ahead and call it. Um, again, or clothes, right? You know, it looks really, really good. And I love the, I guess, the look of it. It seems that the material that they're going to use for this specific cloth is going to be absolutely awesome. I feel like it's going to be kind of like a soft type of heavy um, type of uh, material on it. So cannot wait to go ahead and display it display him with that cloth but of course we also do get the option of displaying him without it so uh pretty much you guys can go ahead and pick and choose um you know how you want to go ahead and display him now to me again as i mentioned before the best part about the figure is without question this head sculpt he looks exactly as ray stevenson again may he rest in peace from the series uh his hair to the side the skin um texture pretty much the kind of like the lines or the yeah pretty much the lines make the you know the figure look a little bit older which he of course is the gray coloring on his beard and hair everything just looks perfect and i love the facial expression again he has this mean look to him obviously he's a villain so it would make sense so everything perfect about the head sculpt and of course we are going to get rolling eyeballs and i think pretty much we can can see that hot toys is going to do the rolling eyeballs with uh, every single figure of course unless we get like an actual like figure who has a helmet or a mask on but the ones that we can see their actual eyes it seems that every single figure is going to have those rolling eyeballs so again love the fact that they're doing again with balin and again that facial expression is absolutely amazing so again we can pretty much take a look at more images as i mentioned before right the lightsaber that he comes with the wardrobe looks great Pretty much everything looks good about this figure. He doesn't have a lot of accessories, which is fine. Again, I'm just happy we're getting the guy um, for a second there. I thought we weren't. But again, seeing that they have announced other figures like the younger Ahsoka, the Padawan Ahsoka, uh, the Super Commando, you know, uh, Trooper from um, the Mandalorian Super Commando Trooper from the series and other figures like that we could kind of tell that this was coming right and again they announced both ham and sheen uh, on the same day so could not be more thrilled as a star wars fan so cannot wait to go ahead this and get this figure so again let's go ahead and uh, skip over to the next images right uh, so that we can kind of touch more on more details that we haven't seen here seen here uh, as you guys can see there's sheen right there which we, we, we will preview tomorrow uh, here on my youtube channel there's the white ahsoka which of course we did go ahead and also pre-order and there is a preview video for her if you guys wanted to have a look uh, just go ahead and go on to my youtube channel i do have a preview video for ahsoka as well which i cannot wait to go ahead and get as mentioned previously uh, we do get the separate rolling eyeballs which which to me is absolutely awesome again so glad that hot toys did this um you know that they thought about this idea with all these figures because it does add a completely new depth when it comes to posing them uh you know pretty much the facial expressions are now more natural because of the rolling eyeballs so that is an amazing thing now as you guys can see detail custom with meticulous fabric selection yes i can tell that it's what they that's what they did it looks very very legit and i cannot wait to see what material they chose to go ahead and uh fabricate these um wardrobes right um for the figures but it looks very very legit and again no issues whatsoever uh, I feel like those of you guys who watch the series more in detail would probably have, you know, pick and choose uh, things that I probably miss on this. Uh, to me, the figure looks perfect. And as I always say, uh, the preview videos are figures that are just a prototype. This is not the final product. Um, you know, some things could improve. Who knows? Maybe some things might get worse but i think that um it's fair to say that this is as good as it gets i really don't think there's anything that they can improve on to the figure um so again as you guys can see one thing that does shock me as you guys can see from this final image of the figure a lot of pair of hands um if i'm not mistaken we get pretty much a total of 13 hands six pairs and one singular hand which i cannot wait to see what that singular hand is but i'm shocked to know that a lot of uh, it comes with all, all these hands of course he comes with the rectangular base the regular lightsaber um um accessories which again as i mentioned before hopefully with the led lights they are as bright as possible uh, again the costume the rolling eyeballs the clothes that goes around him the boots everything else so 
pretty much that is it you know for this specific figure not a lot of accessories but that's kind of something that we are accustomed to when it comes to the Star Wars uh, figures, again, no complaints that it doesn't come with that it doesn't come with a lot of accessories. To me, I am just excited to know that they released this guy. So, uh, pretty much that would be it for the preview video. Um, Balin Skull has been finally announced. Cannot wait to go ahead and get him, and cannot wait to go ahead and get this full Ahsoka series collection. Again, if you guys do want to go ahead and grab him, he is. Uh, available to pre-order at Sideshow Collectibles and I'll go ahead and leave the link on the description of the, vi of the video if you guys want to go ahead and grab them. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to my TikTok and Instagram if you guys want to go ahead and follow me there. Um, on TikTok, I have reached a thousand followers and I cannot be more thankful for that. You guys are the best. Thank you as always for supporting me. And again, if you don't mind, follow me there on Instagram and TikTok. That is where I post daily updates about my channel, images of the figures that I get on a daily basis so make sure to follow me there as far as my youtube channel same thing thank you so much for always subscribing watching my videos you guys are absolutely the best um you guys are just very supportive so i really appreciate every everything that you guys do and as i always say if it is the first time you're watching me welcome to my channel um it's, i'm happy to have you happy to have you along feel free to like this video uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and always hit the notifications bell so that we always are updated with everything or all the content that I drop on a daily basis. So again, guys, this will be it for this preview video of Valence Call from the Ahsoka series. Thank you once again for tuning in today and I will see you next time.